Hi, my name is Chad Moskal, and today we're going to be talking about yield sensors and the importance uh, of making sure that they're operating properly so that the data that you're bringing in is correct and you can make the proper decisions for your operation on the farm. So we're up here in the hopper of an 8240 and uh, one of the things that we really see from year to year when guys start to harvest is that the inside of the yield sensor is really dirty and what can that, that can do is it can promote corrosion and corrupt data. So you want to make sure you get inside here and feel around the inside of that impact plate that there's no damage or wear that's excessive and is going to throw off that, that data. And then you're also going to want to look at some of these connections and make sure that they're, they're not full of moisture and there's not corrosion inside those connections as well. Uh, also to make sure that things are running and that there's power and communication going from the yield monitor to the cab, you're going to want to make sure that this green light is active and blinking. First thing you want to do every single year is make sure you're calibrating that yield sensors. You're making sure that the data that's coming from the sensor is correct data and you can make your decisions based on that. Secondly, make sure you're calibrating in between every single crop type and make sure if you have multiple units operating in the same field, you either do it the exact same way, the calibration, or make sure that the same person is calibrating on every machine. That way you'll have the exact same data and you can rely on that information.